doing a video, a requested video about skincare. Now, I can't say I know much about skincare other than the issues that I deal with. And um, I basically kind of just go through my issues, what I use, what works for me. And um, I guess any recommendations? Should I have any? I'm wearing this hoodie because it is so cold in my house. And I'm too cheap to turn on, I'll turn on the heater. Yeah, it's like 60 degrees outside, which is cold for Florida. So, um, yeah, well, first of all, I have a series of clumps and mascara called Acne Sucks. And basically, it just talks about how much acne sucks and I talk about my problems with it I keep it real I show you what my skin looks like what I'm using I talk about pimple popping the products I've been working with and all that kind of stuff so that's on clumps and mascara basically I don't have any makeup right now I don't wear foundation because I'm just afraid of foundation I feel like when I wear it my skin is going to react terribly and granted I had an issue with one particular brand I'm not going to say who it is you can guess and if you guess you're probably right I won't say it though, um, but I used their foundation once and my skin just was like <laughs> and it got insane and since then I've just been very weary about wearing foundation and that was like two years ago and I'm still afraid so I just swear we'll talk about that later but right now this is what my skin is looking like um, as you can see I've got some hyperpigmentation I've got some um, areas on my cheeks that are black from you know pimples that I've left marks and you know here's one right here as we speak and yeah this is my, my face with nothing on it at all not a thing so I mean it's gotten a lot better than what it used to be I've been going to a dermatologist and I've been using products that she's recommended and my skin has just improved oh my gosh so if you do have um the ability you should definitely go to a dermatologist if you feel like your skin is just out of control. That has what that's really really helped me, um, and I've just been doing my research as well. Basically, what I do on a daily basis is first I wash my face two times a day. Some people do it once, I do it twice. Twice because at night I want to rinse off everything from the day, and then once in the morning because after I work out I sweat, so I just want to wipe that off too. Lately, I've been using Philosophy's Purity. This is not something I use you know all the time in fact as you can tell I haven't been using a lot of it so it's very new to me but I love it it's very gentle on my skin it doesn't lather which is fine and I really really love that before that I was using a foaming face wash by Carez which you know wasn't good wasn't bad it was what it was and it worked well so I kinda stick with what works well um I've also been known to use Castile soap which if you've ever watched any of my hair videos I talk about using that on my hair. I also use it on my face. It is amazing. It really, really cleanses my skin. And so I stick with that. Um, and I use it on and off. Exfoliating. I used to stick with um, just like I'll make a salt mixture. Salt and like baking soda or olive oil. And I just kind of mix it all together. And I use it as an exfoliant. So I don't really buy exfoliator because that kind of stuff you can just make at home. Um, as far as moisturizing goes, I pretty much stick to the same thing. I am a faithful user. I am not a product junkie at all. If it works, I'm going to use it until it stops working. And this is what I've been using for many, many years now. This is Olay Complete and Sensitive Skin. I love this because it has SPF 15, so I'm already getting a little sunblock protection. And I don't have sensitive skin, but I have acne prone skin. So it has... No fragrance, so it won't have any, my skin won't react, you know, insanely. It's just, it's easy to find at the drugstore buy, and I've been using it for quite some time without any problems. So yeah, this is what I stick with. Now, as a black woman, a lot of us deal with uh, the darker, as you can see, the hyperpigmentation and, you know, the, the marks left behind from pimples. I have been using what you call skin tone correctors. Now that don't mean I'm trying to, you know, bleach my skin or turn white or get light or anywhere. This is basically going to help my skin kind of fade away these dark spots. So when I say skin tone corrector, some people are like, oh, you're trying to get light skin. No, that's not what it means. I'm not trying to do, you know. I've been using um, a skin tone corrector by Origins. And I haven't reviewed this on Clumps yet, but oh my gosh, y'all. This stuff.
is so, so, so good. I, uh, I literally will, these, these dark spots on my cheek, I mean, they were a lot darker a couple months ago. And just to see your skin revive from a bad breakout in a couple of months is just amazing to me. So I highly recommend this one. I will do a full review on Clumps and Mascara. I've also used Clinique Skin Tone Corrector, which is phenomenal. It works amazing on brown skin. I am a... I'm telling y'all, the stuff works. So if you really have an issue with dark spots and they're just not going away, um, get a Skin Tone Corrector. They're great. Do your research on them. Test them on your skin for a couple of months. They really do work. I used to use Cocoa Butter, but that will clog my pores. Um, because cocoa butter is so thick and they would actually help, they would actually not, they would make me get more pimples. So I had to put the cocoa butter aside even though I loved it and um, so I definitely do skin tone correctors. So I'll wash my face and I'll put this, my skin's clean right now. And I'll put this right on there like that and I kind of massage it in my skin a little bit and then I'll put my regular moisturizer right on top of it. And this I've been using this for like four months now and it's still not empty so. They're pretty expensive, like $35, but the investment for your skin, come on, can't beat it. And I've also been using, oh my gosh, this is a Clarisonic face brush. Um, This is the Mia. I got this maybe three weeks ago, and oh, oh my gosh. This thing is, I haven't reviewed this either, so I'm not going to go too much about it, but talk too much about it, but it is phenomenal. I use this maybe, I got excited, I used to use it every day, <laughs> my skin was kind of getting inflamed, so I try to use it like, you know, every other day, once a day, and um, it really is just an amazing product, it really helps even my skin tone as far as like, if I have any flaking or anything, it kind of just gets rid of that, it's also very good at, it just feels good, like it feels like you're treating your skin, and uh, it was expensive, you know, like $149, that ain't cheap. You know, but when it comes to my skin, I just don't care. Because good, good, clear skin is just, it's something I don't mind investing in, so. But I'll, again, I'll review this on Clumps. So I'll also do a video review as well, because I don't see that there are that many out there. And I think this is a product that needs to be highly, highly talked about. So I'm going to talk more about this later. And then for pimples, again, I have a, uh, a post on that on Clumps of Mascara, so I have to check that out. But I use what my dermatologist prescribed me, and it's called Differin Gel. And it comes in two formulas. You get a 0.3% and a 0.1%. I have 0.3%, which is the strongest kind. And I basically put this on my pimples, and they kind of go away. It really is like magic. I don't know what's in it. I don't care what's in it. It just works. And my skin likes it. I've been using it for about four or five months now. And if y'all see my before photos of what my skin looked like before I was using this stuff, so, yes, um, if you're interested in this, definitely check with your dermatologist. It's not like something you can get over the counter. You have to get a prescription for it. But it's great stuff. And um, when I'm not using that, I'm using tea tree oil, but very little. Very little. And I dilute it with um, olive oil. So don't ever use tea tree oil by itself. It always has to have a carrier oil with, like, olive or almond. But that's another conversation. Just don't ever put it directly on your face. So I'm talking fast because I don't want to be talking, you know, forever about my skin. Um, but I hope I covered everything. I, yeah, that's it. I really just keep it low maintenance. I stick with the same stuff, and it's, the same stuff just works. And every now and then I'll review something, and if it works, you know, that's cool too. But I always go back to what is, like, my staple and things like this. I will be playing around with Shu Amura's cleansing oil, which I got from Sephora not too long ago. Um, as you can tell, I've only used a little bit of that. Because I'm not that impressed with it, but I still need to give it a shot. But other than that, I mean, that's my skin routine. Um, I don't have the perfect skin. I don't really care. <laughs> it is what it is, you know. It's come a long way, so I'm happy to wear it with where it is right now. I forgot to mention this, and I probably should, but so, since I don't wear foundation, I do like to get some kind of coverage throughout the day. So I just use these, and they're MAC. Um... And the only reason it's MAC is because I was using it back in the day and it worked. So, I, like I said, I continue to use it. Like, literally, I've been using this both for two years. So, this is um, NW45 Studio Finish Concealer. And I basically just take my concealer brush. Um, 
Sorry guys. I take my concealer brush and I pretty much just dab those dark spots right here. And I use very little. This takes like five seconds in the morning and I kind of smooth it out like that. And sometimes I'll do my, if there's some areas on my cheek, I'll put some there. And then I'll take a MAC Sweetest Cocoa Blush, a brown girl's must have. Get this right now. It's a great blush. And I use this right on top. I'll take a regular blush brush and I'll just kind of like that. And for my skin tone, it just looks like I have a little color on, but nothing too much. So it's great for concealing the concealer, which conceals the dark spot. So it alleviates the need for me to have any kind of foundation. I don't do my forehead because I don't have any issues here. And I don't really do anything with my chin either. So that's it. Just concealer and some blush. And I'm out the door. And that's how I um, conceal my skin. And that's pretty much an everyday occurrence, you know. I don't wear it every day but like uh to work and stuff yes i do wear concealer and blush um but if i'm running around doing errands throughout the week i don't wear anything on my skin at all but i always wear a moisturizer just because i need that protection because my skin can be pretty dry <sighs> especially in the winter time and yes we do kind of have winter here in florida it's called like 70 degree weather so it's a big deal for us so yeah, ladies and gents, that is it. That's my skin routine. Um, if you have any specific questions, please let me know. I'm also going to do a post on this. Uh, and I also have, again, other posts about my acne issues, how I've helped, what helps me beat it. Of course, you know, I eat right, I run every day, I drink water. So it's not just the products here. It's like an all over, you know. I mean, crap, I drink a gallon of water a day. So it's kind of like, you know, oh, your skin's so great. How do you do it? It's not easy. Like some people just have good skin and it works for them. I have to work hard to keep my skin to look a certain way. So it ain't fun, but it's a must. I hope I've covered everything. If y'all have any questions again, yes, leave them for me. Email me and I will be there for you. Until next time, stay beautiful. Bye.